Hello again, <laughs> this is Jude here, um, messing around with my camera as usual. Sorry for using this crap camera today, I just, the other one is charging up and it's just not behaving itself, so. Um, I have a lot to get through today, so I'm going to move on and, and try and just be quick for once in my life. I just have to do my September favourites. Um, I'm going to try and get it done early this time, as opposed to sort of waiting till the middle of October to get around to it. So basically, I will just plow into my my favorites video because I also have another video that I want to make um, just about a little giveaway that I'm doing. So I'll do that separately. Um, OK, so my favorites for the month. Skincare um, has been big this month for me. Um, I've certainly been using a couple of new products that I really, really like. The first one is this. Um, number one purity cleansing balm by Wren and this comes in a big um, tub there is 150 mils inside this tub it's quite large and I had a little sample of this a while ago and I absolutely loved it um, now I, the ingredients list is not actually here it's in the box which I threw away but it says no petrochemicals, uh, no sulfates, parabens, synthetic fragrance, synthetic colors, TEA, DEA, glycol, silicones, pegs, et al. So this is a very natural product and just smells absolutely gorgeous. And um, I've been using that. You only need a tiny bit and it's just amazing. And I just use um, a muslin cloth to clean it off and I'm loving that. Um, I bought this a while ago. This is the Lancome Visionaire. I really wasn't expecting to like this product, um, but now I have been using it for about three weeks and I'm really, really enjoying using it. I'm using it around my eye area and down my T-zone, my chin. I'm only putting a tiny bit on my cheeks because it is a little bit sensitizing, I think. Um, so I'm quite, my skin is quite used to it now. I'm not having any issues with it at all. But it's definitely, um, it seems to be making a difference to my under eye area, which is great. Um, now my eyes look crap today because I was, didn't have much sleep last night for various reasons. Um, but it is definitely helping with the fine lines under my eyes. And I've never really come across a product that has done that before. Um, it's uh, certainly smooths your skin. Um, now I don't really have wrinkles anywhere else, thank God. So I can't speak to what that will do for, you know, different skin types or whatever. But for me, I'm definitely finding I like this product. And um, so I'm kind of surprised, but <laughs> yes, that's a thumbs up so far. Um, as a moisturizer at night to go over the Visionaire, I've been using this and excuse the tube because it's well squeezed out at the stage and it looks a bit gross. But it's the Le Creme Concentré, which is from Aviolis. And this is the really iconic cult moisturizing uh, cream. It is the most amazing moisturizer and it is so natural. All it is, is just um, natural shea butter, beeswax, aloe vera and soy proteins. Um, Simdol 68T paraben free preservative complex. So this, I mean, it, it has very few ingredients um but it moisturizes like nothing else it is amazing stuff and i'm gonna buy another few tubes of this and i leave a link below where you can buy this from lovemakeup.co.uk um i know abilities has a website in the us where they will they they sell um all their products but this is amazing stuff so that's it for skincare for foundation um, and primers and such, I have been using two primers this month and really loving them. The first one is the Guerlain Meteorites Pearls um, Light Diffusing Perfecting Primer. And this has little doodads inside it. Um, it's definitely an illuminating primer. You won't look glittery, but you will definitely notice a little sheen on the skin. It's very, very um, light reflecting, as you can probably see, because I am glowing like, uh, I don't know what today. My face is completely white <laughs> on camera. Um, 
but it's amazing and it does help your makeup stay on quite well it's very smoothing um very expensive but i think it performs in accordance with the price that one would pay for it so i like that another one that i really love and i have to thank debic one for sending this to me this is the Cara's silicone free vitamin e face primer this is brilliant stuff and if you're using um, a foundation that's got a lot of silicone in it um, I like to use a silicone free primer because I think layers of silicone over combination skin can just result in a massive massive oil slick so this is silicone free and very very nice it's a lovely product and it um, it smells gorgeous it's like it has a kind of a citrusy smell um, very fresh and cooling when you put it on and uh, Cara's is a great brand. They're very natural products. So I'm loving that. For foundation then, what I've read big, big, big into is using my, uh, again, Gala Pago Extreme uh, Foundation. And this is in the shade 02, which is the lightest shade. It is a little bit yellow for me. Um, so what I'm doing is I'm combining it with my Super Plus um, Skin 79 um, Beauty Balm. So mix the two of these half and half. The pink tones, grayish, ashy tones in this um, seem to neutralize this yellow really well. And also it lightens up the foundation. It makes it a little bit dewier, a bit more natural looking. Um, because this is a long wearing foundation and it's heavy duty, you know. Um, so this just lightens it, makes it more wearable for me. Um, it's not mask-like at all. It's really natural looking. Um, what I've been using to put it on with is my, my beauty blender. Uh, this needs a wash, so uh, pardon the dirt of this. Um, but yeah, with the beauty blender sponge and these two together, absolutely gorgeous combination. So loving that. Okay, so concealers then. I've used two ad nauseum this month. First one is my Makeup Atelier liquid, uh, waterproof liquid foundation. Um, waterproof liquid concealer and this looks really yellow but it's amazing for covering redness and it blends right into your foundation um, really long lasting and looks amazing fantastic for under eyes as well um, it doesn't go dry or cakey looking um, it just is a wonderful product and it's relatively inexpensive I think I paid about nine euro for this which is you know not bad at all um, I bought it at the Makeup Atelier shop in Dublin and um, they will soon be opening an online shop. So as soon as they do, I'll let you know about them because the girl who runs that shop is fantastic and um, that product is terrific. So love that. The other thing I've been revisiting is my Touche Cla, um from YSL. This is the classic. Everyone knows it. It's great for under the eyes and I've needed a lot of work um getting rid of the sort of signs of fatigue this month um, because my massive, massive workload has not lifted and I've been tired and also my brother's, my brother died four years ago yesterday and so his anniversary was on the horizon and I was just very stressed and tired and down and whatever. So I needed a little bit of lift <laughs> under the eyes and um elsewhere and this did the job for me so i love that for blushes then i use i've i have a couple here that i really really like the first one is this i discovered this again this is the nyc blushable cream stick and this is in moven uptown it's a brilliant shade and really really good shade and i've been using this kind of in a kind of contouring capacity so just kind of just here at the side just under the cheekbones it's a cool enough color that it's not going to look weird if you use it to contour with and just like apply it over the foundation and with the beauty blender just kind of blending it out in here and it's looked I think it's really looked very very nice so I loved that um again um this is this I had this last month as well as one of my favorites the dainty doll um blusher in 03 it looks like nothing in the pan believe me it is one of the most 
beautiful natural looking blushers I've ever used in my life. It has a very subtle bit of shimmer in it. This is amazing stuff. Um, if you have pale skin, just get this blusher if you can. It's absolutely fantastic. Daisy Nation sent this to me and Daisy, you are on my Christmas card list in perpetuity um, because of this product. It is fantastic. Like, it doesn't look like much there and you would think you'd have to put tons of this on, but it actually has a beautiful color. And when you apply it, you really do see it on your cheeks, but it just looks so natural and I can't rave enough about this. I love it. Um, another favorite from this month is the YSL Radiance Blush in the shade 03, which came out with the Midnight Garden Collection. Beautiful, um, kind of purple colored blush. This is incredible when you put it on. It just looks so, so beautiful. Um, it's very pigmented, um, so you've got to be very careful. I mean, one sweep is enough to give you the effect you want. Um, probably tomorrow I am going to do my YSL tutorial, so I will use that um, along with the quad, the eyeshadow, sorry, not quad, the eyeshadow palette that comes with it. So we'll do that. Okay. Um, gosh, I've got lots of stuff left to show you. Um, I... Uh, makeup then for mascara I've just used this one all month and it's almost dead it's the L'Oreal um, Voluminous in carbon black it's very nice mascara I'm quite impressed with it it's um, holds the curl quite well I think it's quite a nice non clumpy formula so very much like that one drugstore one that's a winner um, Eyeliners then, two beautiful eyeliners I bought this month. Uh, one is um, the MAC Technico Liner in Earthline, which is just a sort of a grey brown colour and very, very nice for autumn, lovely and neutral. Another one I bought last week and I didn't do a haul video for this because I just, was, what was the point? I'd mention it anyway because I, I knew I'd be mentioning this in one of my favourites. And this is as a favorite. And this is the Chanel um, Precision Eyeliner in Khaki Platine. And this is just a gorgeous color. It's just like a green with a shimmer. And it's like a taupey kind of khaki color. Um, I don't know how much that will show up, but it's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. The formula is quite soft and quite blendable. It's probably a pencil that you'd want to warm up slightly before you use it. If it's quite cold where you keep your stuff and it's cold going on your eye, it's going to be a little bit difficult to glide it on. Um, but warm it up and it's fantastic and it lasts very well. So I really love that. Um, for eyeshadow, oh God, I mean, I've got loads here. Um, my friend, Mrs. The Doll, that's uh, Deb, um, who's currently on her holidays, having a great time, no doubt, sent me some paint pots because I saw the Posh Paradise collection from MAC about to come out and I was crying because I knew that if I didn't get to Dublin on the right day when they would release this, I would not have a chance of getting these products and I can't just drop everything and go. Um, and the girls in the shop weren't able to tell me exactly when they were going to have this collection in store. So I was bemoaning all of this and then she said, look, I'll send you whatever you want. So I was very, very pleased about that. So she sent me two paint pots from the Posh Paradise collection. And they are amazing. And the first one is Nubile, which is a really beautiful peach color. Very soft peach with the most subtle iridescence to it. It's just gorgeous. And... Um, I'll swatch it, but I don't know if you, well, you will see it. There you go. There it is there. So it's beautiful, super, super natural color. Um, but, you know, paint pots are fab. So I just love them. Such an amazing eyeshadow base. So that's gorgeous. Another one she sent me then was Half Wild, which is the purple. And this is a beautiful color. If you see that, it's just gorgeous. Um, I'm just such a purple fanatic. Um, this is beautiful. 
gorgeous pigmented purple color and it's just amazing so i'm so psyched to have to have those products i really am um another one that i asked her to get me because i cannot get it here is the paint pot in soft ochre so i've been using these like crazy since i got them um this is just a beautiful soft yellow color so fab um, also this month I've loved this particular eyeshadow as well. This is from Chanel and it is the Illusion d'Ombre in Illusoire, which is um, number 83. This has been seriously hard to get my hands on. I, I had to try a few times at the Chanel, few Chanel counters to try and get my hands on this, but eventually they got it in last week. And I was literally in a queue of people who are all buying this. Um, three people like a woman before me bought it then I bought it then the next woman behind me asked for it as well so this is very popular and these these eyeshadows have a really strange texture they're kind of um, like a, almost a sort of gel consistency but this color is fantastic it's like a kind of a, a purpley silver um, but the effect is almost like a taupe um, there it is there it's a purpley silvery color um you have to work with this to get it to really give you a good payoff but the color is so amazing i just love it and it does dry to a really nice powder finish what i do is i put a dark base under it and then i'll put the illusoire over that and that works really well so um i probably wouldn't go mad buying all of these that's the only color i really liked um the texture is nice, but the payoff is a little bit disappointing. Um, but I still, I still would have to put it as a favorite because of the color, which is gorgeous. A few eyeshadows this month I've been really loving are from Catrice, who brought out some new products and some new eyeshadows. Um, they have brought out a few new eyeshadows, which I really like. This is one in 360, which is We Still Support Green Peas. <laughs> green peas um i'm not sure if this is a new shade or not but it's just a really nice kind of matte pale green color kind of mossy green almost khaki kind of green and it's really pigmented and soft and it's beautiful this is definitely a new color it's called come on chameleon and it is a really good dupe for max club um pretty good dupe anyway it's like that um and then if i swatch it it's kind of green and brown it's got it's a slightly more neutral brown than club which is quite a reddish brown this is a neutral brown so it's a little bit different uh, which i'm kind of glad of because i have club as well so this looks slightly different it's a very very nice eyeshadow beautiful blends really really nicely so that's gorgeous Another one um, which I wanted to show you was a new one called My First Copperware Party. Um, and it's this really beautiful kind of kind of like a rosy copper color with shimmer. I'm not going to swatch this because this is part of my giveaway. So I'm going to close that again. Another one I bought is a quad called this Se The Seasons Must Have. And it's just beautiful and if you see those colors there they are just gorgeous you have a lovely green a lovely peach you have a really nice matte gray and a kind of a plum and there they are there swatched so look i mean lots and lots of pigment there very soft and blendable and they're all kind of apart from this peachy one they're kind of a matte or semi-matte finish Beautiful, absolutely gorgeous products. Catrice is absolutely fabulous. Um, okay, another eyeshadow I really like is from Makeup Atelier. And this is called uh, Gris Brun Irisé, which is grey brown, like a, um, sparkling grey brown. And it looks like absolutely zero in the pan. But I will swatch it for you. I just take it up with a brush and I will show you the color which is amazing 
it's kind of similar to the Chanel gel um, eyeshadow that I just showed you. It's like that. It's this one here. So it's like a purplish taupe with a very subtle shimmer. It's almost matte. It's got a little, little bit, a few little reflects in it. But it's just gorgeous. I'm mad about that. Love it. Um, okay, I've got, if you know, and I can't rub my nose because my hands are covered in swatches. Um, okay, and oh, my last thing that I really love eyes wise is the Urban Decay Book of Shadows 4, which I'm mad about. It's a beautiful selection of eyeshadows this time. Um, they're getting more wearable all the time, Urban Decay. I really appreciate that. Only a couple of like really sparkly shadows this time and you're getting a liquid liner, a mascara and a really decent um, primer potion as well. So it's a fabulous palette. This line along here, I mean, look at these shades on the bottom. They are gorgeous and really, really wearable. And there's a beautiful, this shade Lost is just, just a gorgeous brown. They're so, 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 so nice. I really like that palette. Um, lipsticks, oh God, um, I've been using quite a few lip pencils. I'm into using my lip pencils this month. Um, what have I been loving? The new Catrice lip pencils are gorgeous and I mentioned those in a haul video. They are a very nice formula and beautiful colours. Also, this one that Daisy Nation sent me, which is the Perfect Lip pen Lips Pencil from number 7 in Nude. And that's a really nice, um, just a nude lip pencil there beautiful um lipsticks i've been using from catrice fox knox a lovely kind of oh it's a kind of like a russety color or a deep coral kind of color it's really beautiful with a kind of peachy hint to it um from mac i've been wearing faux an awful lot just a neutral pink color mauvey kind of pink um and hue i've been using that a lot too that's just a lovely again fairly nude neutral color it's kind of the same color as my lips and this one i'm wearing today which is my red lip for the day <laughs> i'm trying to be brave so i put this on this morning this is retro and I really like that. And I just said, sod it, I'm wearing red lipstick today and I don't care because I am such a wimp when it comes to lipstick, but I did it. Uh, okay, two brushes I got as well this month and I'm enjoying using them, although I mean, they're probably a bit gimmicky. Uh, the MAC 234 and 235, which are two split fiber brushes, um, synthetic on this side and natural hair on this side. They're just very nice. They're nice for blending. This is a similar shape to the 217, this one here. And it's it's a nice brush. This one is a little bit like the 227, I think. It's a little bit smaller and narrower. So they're both very nice for blending, applying color to the lid. They do the job. Um, I like using the synthetic side for paint pots. It does actually work quite well. So I don't think they were a complete frippery or a gimmick or whatever they're nice brushes so i i just i got them so those are my favorites for the month everybody um i hope you enjoyed this video if you want to know anything about anything i've mentioned let me know today on my face i am wearing um what i'm wearing chanel vita lumiere aqua in br20 um on my eyes i am using the soft ochre paint pot and then I am wearing um, just these four eyeshadows here. Um, this one here is Skin Tone 2 from one of the Fabulous Felines quads. I'm not sure which one it was. Um, in the crease, I am wearing uh, Coquette. To deepen the outer corner, I'm using Brun. Uh, these are all MAC. And then for highlighting, I'm using Blanc Type. So that was that's what I'm wearing eyeshadow wise for mascara, the uh, voluminous mascara. Um, 
eyeliner is um, RMK uh, Ingenious Gel Liner in brown, deep brown, which I don't have in front of me. Um, for blush, I am wearing uh, NYC Blushable Cream Stick in Plaza Pink. And on my lips, as I already showed you, I am wearing Retro Lipstick from MAC, which is red. So that's it, guys. Um, that's my video. I'm now going to go on and record a little video um, to do with a giveaway because I have gone past my 100th video <laughs> and I also have had a lot of new subscribers recently. So I just want to say do a giveaway as a little thank you. So take care of yourselves. Bye bye and be good. And I will talk to you all again soon. Bye bye.